Hey everyone, welcome back to my latest video. Today we'll be building 15 million siege. We will also be going over why I am building 15 million siege. But before we get into why, I just gotta show you everything that's going on right here. So I have sped up the video about two times here. So the timer is also sped up. If you haven't seen the timer, it's down here. Uh, also, the uh, video gets corrupted halfway through, so I had to restart the uh, the video. So I will be adding a timer plus another timer, uh, just how it goes. The reason why it got corrupted was because my phone was overheating. It was really hot in my house today. And then I was running three different overlay things. One was recorder, obviously one is a timer here, then one is an auto clicker. So my phone didn't like that, got really hot, and I had to restart everything because basically uh, everything just shut itself down halfway through. Uh, so that's not normally what be happening with using one of these auto clickers and stuff like that. It's, it's just because I have the recorder on and a second timer down here plus an auto clicker plus I'm running the game at the same time so that's kind of what happened. So um, also uh, if you guys notice halfway through like I said we'll add an extra timer and we will be using an auto clicker to do all this. We're kind of seeing how long it will take to build uh, 15 million troops uh, with this auto clicker. So anyway, so that's the that's kind of the background behind the video. But the other thing I want to go over is why the heck I am building 15 million siege. Like, what possible reason can you have to build 15 million tier one siege on an account? Um, it is a rally trap account, by the way. I will have about 40 million troops by the end of this. So it's not like a small account by any stretch of the means. Um, it is kind of tiny in might, but not a uh, tiny and troop count. And the reason why I'm actually doing all this is because of pack five familiar. So back in the day, I had this idea for a solo trap was to build a bunch of tier one siege. So the pack five familiars would hit the pack or the back line, which is the siege and not your front line. Cause normally pack five familiars would hit your biggest squad. So uh, normally your biggest squad is either your infantry, your cav or your range. But um, in this situation, we're obviously not having that happen. We're having the pack five familiars hit our siege in the back line. So what does that mean? That means your front line will last a lot longer during multiple rallies and stuff like that. Yes, you'd be losing troops, but you're only losing tier one siege and they're two might each. So you're not really losing much and you're not losing any strength really because all your strength is really in your front line and your back line, which is your infantry cab and range. So the more you lose of that, the weaker you get over multiple rallies. But if you're just losing tier one siege, it might not work that way. Again, I have not tested this out, so uh, we will doing a. I uh, will be doing a test run really soon. Uh, we will be kind of going over everything and seeing how well it actually does, because uh, we don't actually know what the end result for this whole build process is going to be. Will it suck? Will it reduce my damage somehow? Uh, who knows? We'll find out. Will it stop me from capping? I don't know. What it doesn't matter because it, it's all a big test here. Uh, the worst thing that's going to happen is I'm going to lose a bunch of tier, tier one siege, which is uh, kind of the point in the first place. And the reason why I didn't do this in the past uh, was because when obviously when pack five familiars came out, uh, there wasn't a mechanic that made your your top troops go into your sanctuary and uh, fill up your what's it called um infirmary so uh t you could actually start filling up your infirmaries with tier one and filling up your sanctuary with tier one and then all your other troops would just dis disappear but nowadays uh it doesn't happen that way I as soon as a higher tier troops ends up in your what's called infirmaries or your sanctuary, they will kick out the lower tier troops. So it doesn't matter if my sanctuary is filled with tier ones after the first rally, uh, my tier twos and stuff will start filling those afterwards if for whatever reason I start losing them. But I'm hoping I don't actually lose them because on this account, I should not be taking too many reds per rally if I counter. So if I get the counter off, my actual like troops shouldn't be taking too much damage. So let's say they send cab into my range. My range front line shouldn't take more than let's say 600k. If it does, it's not going to take too much more, maybe like 800k or something like that. But um, if like normally the pack five familiars will start hitting those big squads and you'll start losing your front line, your front line is pretty whittled down after the first couple of rallies. Cause let's say a, a pack five familiars do a million damage to your front line. And then the attack only does 800 K, but now you've lost 1.8 million of your front line uh, where technically you should only be losing like 800 K in that rally. Um, where this one, it's basically just going all going to be siege. I'll see how many rallies I can take though. Cause uh, I know the tier one siege will be taking a ton of damage uh, from those pack five familiars. 
so I will be dropping quite quickly. So I'm not sure how long 15 million siege will last. Uh, we'll see how much damage that pack 5 familiar does. Is it going to do 2 million damage per rally? Is it going to do 3 million damage? Who knows? We'll find out. Well, it should be good for at least... Uh, well, I have about 8 million in my front line, so as long as the siege is higher than that, it should be getting hit, so... I should at least get three rallies out of it, uh, depending if it's three million, I should get like uh, like eight or something like that. If it's not eight, sorry, uh, four or something plus if it's only two million, if it's only a million, then I'm, I'm getting a ton of rallies out of it. So it should be good, uh, but we'll find out because uh, obviously once I take the first rally, that will be the first test. And you can see, where am I right now? I'm at six million uh, troops built uh, about nine minutes in. This is when my phone starts getting uh, pretty laggy. So I start switching stuff around. I thought it was my internet connection was happening, but uh, later on I realized it was just my phone heating up and it was slowing down the processor because everything was running at the same time. So um, you will see me start switching it up about a bit. And then you'll actually see the timer all of a sudden just like completely shut off and I have to restart it because all my applications just literally just shut down because the phone got to a certain heat and it just went boop, nope, no more, <laughs> not doing anymore. And that's about in about a minute from the timer, not in the video, but yeah, so that's kind of the, the thing I'm thinking. Building a bunch of sheet siege, um, taking the hits from the pack five milliers. Also the account I'll be trapping on has pack five familiars by itself. Uh, so as soon as their pack five familiars hit my siege and knock out like a million siege, it should pretty much trigger my pack five familiars to hit them. So, uh, my frontline will even take less damage because I think my pack five familiars will trigger much quicker and do a lot more damage a lot faster. So technically they'll have less troops for more of the battle. So I'm hoping that actually like works out in my favor. So. Um, that's kind of uh, the whole thing like and also oh, actually the, the other thing is they will see that I will drop a ton of troops when they hit me too because normally they won't be doing so much damage so it would look less and they might not be more likely to keep rallying me but in this situation if they see like a 3 million might drop or a 3 million troop drop and I counter them um, or they won't even I guess they won't even realize that I counter them uh, they might actually just keep trying to rally me even though they're they have no hope because I haven't even started to lose anything in my front line all these troops will actually just be backline troops that are literally doing no damage and not really helping me um, it won't really look like a big might drop because it is tier one and they're only two each so even if I lose three three million uh, uh, tier one that's a like six million drop so um, they might be a little confused on the uh, the might drop but the uh, troop drop will look massive and they'll be like oh this is an easy target we should keep going so that is the other thing I was thinking about this um, again uh, the person's account who I will be trapping on uh, he, we were talking about it earlier and it was kind of his idea to come out start with this so I was like sure let's do it uh, I think it's an amazing idea honestly so um, I was gonna do it um, by the way you can see the timer has restarted so that's the uh, initial timer plus this one obviously I added the plus there you just add them together and you can see the total time this is taken uh, we're at about 8 million you can see it's going a little faster again I have uh, <laughs> uh, basically cooled down my phone a little bit in between and then restarted the timer and restarted the troop thing um, it does start slowing down by the end again um, again this is not normal uh, this is just because I have so many applications running over top of the thing and it's having a hard time and it was heating up my phone. Plus it's really hot today so uh, that did not <laughs> that, that didn't help at all because uh, heat and uh, electronics not a good switch. Anyway so uh, that's pretty much it for the troops. Um, I know people are looking for the hand update. I did do a post but I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. So I, I made a post earlier about my hand so again this is the normal brace I've been wearing just so I can actually use my hand. Um, obviously when I damaged the actual like nerve during the arm break that was like five months ago um, I lost literally all connection between from here all the way down on the back of my hand to my fingers here. So that's why I have the hand brace because I can open my fingers. I can actually squeeze perfectly fine without the brace on. It's just, I can't lift my fingers up. So this thing actually has little elastics under my fingers that pull my fingers back. But anyways, so I had the hand, uh, the hand update right now is I talked to the neurosurgeon last week. Uh, they basically 
saw me and was like, oh, it's doing well. Because last time they saw me, I had zero connection. Like there was no, they were doing like the electrical things in my, in my hand, in my arm, trying to see if there was connection. There was no connection to any of the muscles down here, which obviously was a concern. And we were kind of talking about surgery and stuff, but we'll see how it goes. And this was the kind of the meeting to see if we had to do surgery or not to reconnect or get a get a connection to that and do like a nerve graft or a, a tendon graft or something like that just so I can use it but they saw me did the did the test and I started to get some connection down here so they were giving me the thumbs up like that that's awesome it's perfect exactly what we want to see um, they're saying the nerve is kind of healed down to about below my elbow here where it was up here before so it's down here and they were saying on this part of my arm here, like this part here, um, I'll just take the brace off. <laughs> It'd be easier to see what I'm talking about. Um, so this part of my arm here, uh, they're starting to get a connection in there, uh, which is really good. So I've been kind of like this for the last thing, but I'm starting to be able to move my hand. I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's not a lot, but if I were to hold it there, I can actually hold my hand a little bit. So before, if I tried to do this, it'd go boop, like that. But now I can actually hold my hand like this. Um, obviously, I can't really pull it back very well because the muscles are very weak and the connection is not super strong but um, I can now actually on the side I can actually move it back like this way which is which is way better again it's not a super strong connection but there is a connection which is really important because there is zero connection before and it was very concerning um, the only thing I have no connection yet is uh, my fingers here because there is a uh, the nerve actually goes all the way down to your hand and um, basically, sorry, I'll just brace it here, right here, um, is where the next connection is. And there's still no connection to the, the to that nerve yet, or at least the, that one that connects to the fingers. So uh, still zero connection here, but there is connection on this, on this part of my arm here, which is good because there was zero. So I'm hoping in about three months, I'll start getting a connection to my finger and I'll be able to lift my finger, but the finger is completely zero. I can't, I can't hold it up like I, I can with my wrist now. Yeah, I can. It, it takes a lot of effort, but it's like lifting a super heavy weight with nothing in your hand and you're trying to hold your hand there. But eventually it goes back down, But and I can't pull it all the way back up, but I got a little bit of movement in there, which is good. <laughs> so anyways, that's the hand update. I know a lot of people are asking. I thought this might be a good video to put it in and kind of give you a visual representation of what was going on. Um, but it's looking good, should be healing, and hopefully another three months, I don't struggle to hold my hand up. I can just hold it up and maybe pull it all the way up without without help. <laughs> so uh, that would be good. And uh, then I just got to wait for my uh, my fingers to actually uh, get connection so I can actually pull them back. But again, I can I can squeeze here so I can I can grab things and stuff like that perfectly fine. Um, that's a different nerve on the arm. So that's that, that's the, the muscles on the bottom of the arm. So um, anyway, so let's get back to the video. Let's see where we're at. We're at about 12.9 uh, million troops. And I believe it does cut out uh, one more time and have to restart it one last time because at the end here it's starting to slow down um, even at two times speed you can see it's starting to get really slow here um, that was basically just the the phone heating up again so uh, 13 million troops we're going to go up to 15 it does I'm not sure where it cuts out but you can see it's it's getting slow. Um, if you guys have any questions about this, just let me know. Um, it is kind. Of, it's not really a new concept. It's just I don't know if people have done it in the past and it's worked or not worked. But um, we'll see if it works or not. And maybe it's <laughs> maybe it's a good thing to do. Maybe it's not. But uh, if it if it's not, it's not really the most expensive thing because um, building 15 million siege. I think it was only like 500 days of speed ups or something like that. It. Like, it wasn't, like, a crazy amount of speed-ups for that compared to, like, normal Tier 2 because uh, rebuilding your front line can take, like, thousands of days of speed-ups, but this was only, like, 500. I mean, it, it's still a lot, but <laughs> it's more of a uh, more of a test to see if you can use this for uh, bigger rally traps and stuff like that just to reduce some of the, the pack 5 damage because the damage nowadays is just insane and you're having to rebuild your front line all the time and... Yeah, that, that was actually, uh, <laughs> that was the last one it shut off. So I think it's actually fine now. And we'll do the last uh, 500k troops uh, before the end. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah. Anyways, so basically how I did this for building uh, was uh, made it so that I can build siege at about uh, one day 
uh, per build. So uh, whatever you're going to do it, make sure you do that because that's the most efficient way. Make sure you're using one days for building anything. So that means just building, let's say, X amount of barracks to your X amount of speed, your training speed, and that'll be based on your training speed. So you got to figure that out with your own training speed. So if you're looking to do anything, do that. Make sure it's at least one day because one, one, like 24 hours is the most efficient where uh, anything less is very inefficient. So again, that was the end there. And then I think I will just, uh, yeah, we'll just end it there. If you guys have any questions about this, just leave it in the comments down below. So that was the video building uh, <laughs> what it's called. Um, 20 or 15 million siege uh, we will end up around 40 million troops for this so uh, we'll see how it does there will be an update video coming after this one and we actually take some rallies which i'm super excited for so hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you